So one of the unique aspects of this operation that Dr. Larian and I have really, really tried to advance within the general medical community is limiting our incision and doing you know, the best possible preservation of the facial nerve and reconstructing the defect so that it's a very, very, almost as if you've never had this operation. And many of our patients are TV sports figures and so forth that no one even knows they've had this procedure. And the reason we've done this is because when we were training many years ago, pretty much this operation was make a large incision in the neck and face area, take the tumor out, not even worry about the indentation, not even worry about the scarring, not even worry about the issues with um, sweating and fray syndrome. So one of the things that we really decided to do is how do we do this operation limiting the incision to the smallest amount so because of my facelift experience and Dr. Larian's expertise in minimally invasive surgery, we came up with a very, very, very small incision that just essentially it's even smaller than what we use for our face and neck lifts. We access the parotid gland and because of our facial nerve expertise, we do a lot of facial nerve reconstruction. Our ability to identify the location of the facial nerve is very precise. We use both monitoring and our own experience and expertise to find the nerve, and we have several different ways of finding the nerve. So the chance of preservation and maintenance of the nerve is very, very high. And then finally, we have very advanced reconstructive techniques so that the patient does not look like they've ever had surgery. They have a very even face. There's no indentation or divot or craters on their face. And also have no issues with phrase syndrome, which can be a really annoying uh, issue. Patients or individuals are sitting at a restaurant and eating when, with other people, they can start sweating on their face and it just looks very awkward. So we've really honed in on these few issues to make this operation a much safer, shorter outcome, uh, shorter recovery, and really ability to get back to work very quickly. And we're doing it in an outpatient setting. These patients used to be in the hospital for four or five days. Now patients come in, have surgery, go home. They recuperate at you know comfort of their home, and it's just amazing for patient satisfaction and outcome.